Hey guys, what's up? I am Legendary Queen Lo from The Foe if you are new to this channel. And if not, welcome back. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and checking in with me. I have gone away for so long. I've been absent and I have no excuse because as you guys know, if you've watched my channels, I am not one for excuses, but I'm back. And I'm excited to do this video because I am excited to use the products that I just got. I went to uh, Marshalls and Ulta today and got some different products. They are Peter Thomas Roth products, which it will be my first time using them, but I hear good things about them. So at Marshalls, I picked up like a hydrating cucumber kit and it was actually like only 25 bucks. And then at Ulta, I picked up another little kit. It was $38 and some banana powder. So I'm actually going home to take a shower and then implement these products into my skin. I really wanna do a South by Southwest reflection and tell you guys how my South by Southwest trip went because it was so awesome. Uh, big shout out to the Bridges Hip Hop, big shout out to Alvin, big shout out to Zeno. Of course, I saw my girl Molly out there, which was super exciting. And I met a lot of dope people as well. Um, I also did a write-up on one of the artists that performed out there. So if you guys want to get uh, into any of the content that I produced since, you can definitely go check that out on SoQueenLow.com. But anyways, I am headed home. I'm about to take a shower. I wanted to show you these products before I got in the shower because I'm going to open one of these boxes. Ulta Steel, I got this for $38. I thought it was a pretty good deal because that means it is less than $10 a product. And um, inside I got the anti-aging cleansing gel, the Irish Moor Mud Mask, Firm Perfecting Gel, Water Drench, moisturizer so I'm really excited to use them I'm excited to see how they work so in the shower I'm going to use the anti-aging wash and then I was thinking about using the peeling gel and finishing up with a mask afterwards now for my Marshall snack so my box I opened a little bit already oops a daisy it is right there it says that it is 40 oh my gosh it's coming out at the bottom this is what the box looks like says $48 but I got it for $27.99 at Marshall's and inside it has the puffing ice cubes that you're going to keep in the freezer it also has the cucumber detox bouncy hydrating gel which I believe is like a moisturizer and then you have the detox foaming cleanser in the bottom right hand corner and then a gel mask in the bottom left hand corner which I'm excited to try out because by the description of it it kind of sounds like our intense hydrating mask at Aveda, my school. Um, so I'm gonna be excited to kind of compare it and see how I like those. But right now I'm about to have the shower because I just feel really gross and then I'm gonna use these products and let you guys know how I liked each one and which ones I used. All right, so I have showered. I feel very fresh faced. The cleanser that I decided to use was the Peter Thomas Roth anti-aging cleansing gel. Um, I think that it went on really good to my skin. I would say that my skin doesn't necessarily feel dry, but um, just knowing what a gel cleanser is, I would say that it has, it's not over drying, but like if you have dry skin, it could make you feel a little bit tight. Right now my skin does not feel tight though. It just feels um, a little bit smooth. It feels good. It feels clean. Um, it feels light. I actually really like it, like reflecting upon using this. What I'm about to do next is use the Peter Thomas Roth Firm Peeling Gel right here. Um, this came in my Ulta Peter Thomas Favorites box. This says it visibly exfoliates by rolling and lifting. If you, I sampled this in the store, it's like the Dead the Sea stuff that you put on your hand and you roll it around and little balls come off. So I'm about to use that now and post this camera up somewhere and put it on my face really quick. We are in the spot, but I don't feel like setting much stuff up right now, so it's going to work. Wow, you can already see it beating up. 
since we're doing a lot to my face too, I don't really care about leaving it on for one to five minutes because what I'm about to do is actually a face mask. And then I'm going to do a um, moisturizer and then a leave on overnight mask. So, um, but the, it's like for, it's okay for sensitive skin. So don't worry guys. So, so far I've used three favorites. I've used the gel cleanser, I've used this peeling gel mask, or the gel exfoliant, and then now I'm using the Irish More Mud Mask. This says just to massage in with your fingers. Almost smells like absolutely nothing. What I actually like is that it, this is, a very little amount of mask that I just used uh, that I have on my fingers right now and this is spreading almost like on half of my face which is pretty awesome because obviously you want to get as many uses out of your stuff as possible So 10 minutes, we will leave that on there. Um, feels light. It didn't say to use a heavy or light amount. And it says that it's safe to use two to three times a week. So I'm gonna wash that off my hands. I'm going to get off of here. And be back in 10 minutes. So I'm really not trying to gas this, you guys, but I really love that face mask. Like, I know my skin, you obviously can see the redness, but I don't know. I just feel like it's made a difference on the way my skin feels. Um, my skin feels light. It just feels like nothing. Like, my face feels like nothing. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel dry. It just feels, like, hydrated and, like, skin. So next, I'm throwing on this moisturizer. And then I'm going to put on this cucumber gel mask um, because you can leave it on overnight. And it says to put it on when you're done with your nighttime routine. So this Cucumber Detox Bouncy Hydrating Gel is a lightweight hydrator that creates an invisible matte veil. Cucumber hy Hyaluronic Acid, Vitamins A, C, and E. It has a little pop open. I don't know why, but whenever I get stuff, I always take the product off of here. It smells like a light smell. Not super cucumbery, but you can have you can smell a hint of cucumber. And I didn't get too much on my finger. You can kind of see it's a gel. Kind of it's nice and soft. And I'm just going to rub it into my skin. Um, this is probably, somebody with oily skin will probably love this because it definitely doesn't feel oily. It's kind of like a water-based moisturizer. So, um, for this cucumber gel mask, it has refreshing, cooling, moisturizing, calming gel, helps soothe dry, irritated skin with cucumber, papaya, chamomile, pineapple, sugar, maple, sugar cane, orange, lemon, bilberry, and aloe, and again, good for all skin types. Um, it can be used under the eyes to take away puffiness. It's excellent to calm and soothe the irritated skin after the sun. Peels, waxing, facials, or extractions. It says... Apply a generous amount on the skin, let it stay on for 10 minutes and rinse with cool water. Or for a very cool treatment, refrigerate the product. And for an intensive treatment, apply a thin layer as the last layer of skincare and leave on overnight. You can use it two to three times weekly or daily for intensive hydration. So, this is even more jelly like. This smells different than the moisturizer. I think it can smell, does it say there's... I feel like I can definitely smell the aloe, I can definitely smell the cucumber. But you can kind of just smell a lot of different things on there. So let's apply a thin layer. Um, so let's apply it. It goes on and feels like a gel. Like, not like I feel like I'm putting hair gel on my face, but it does feel like the consistency of, like, hair gel. Not necessarily the stickiness of it, but, like, just the 
consistency. I know that if I had sensitive skin, I would absolutely love um, this as well because it's very light. It does feel cooling and I bet this would feel really good on a sunburn if you kept it in the fridge. Um, so here's my face. If you want to take a little look-see at what it looks like. And I can even show you my face in the morning when I wake up so you can get a look and see just like what my skin looks like. Thank you guys uh, for staying with me. But I guess I will go to sleep now. I'll see you in the morning. And then we will see how my face looks. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta get it all the way out of there. Good morning. It's the morning and by golly, I think that my skin looks pretty good. Feels hydrated. Like I actually really love these products because I don't even know how to describe how my skin feels except for just absolutely normal. I'm about to use um, not the anti-aging one that I'm going to use at nighttime, but I'm going to use the cucumber detox one, which was in their hydration kit. Um, foaming cleanser gently cleanses and nourishes, detoxifies, and skin of impurities. Um, with cucumber, sugarcane, sugar maple, vitamin C and E, glycerin, PCA, um, it's sulfate free and alcohol free. I'm going to use this just for the sake of it being a YouTube video and using most of the products that I got in my haul. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench. Um, Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. It says it should help lock in moisture for 72 hours. And the reason why I'm, I like using these moisturizers, it reminds me a little bit of the Clinique Moisture Surge, which is my favorite Clinique moisturizer. I don't know if you guys can tell right now, but it's definitely like a water clear gel look. Quite similar to the one I used last night. I guess it all depends what type of moisturizers you guys like, but I prefer it, especially with it being summertime. Something like this that I know will soak into my skin on my face. Which, I guess it all depends what type of moisturizers you guys like, but I prefer it, especially with it being summertime. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair, and then I'm gonna just let you know how my face feels after washing it, moisturizing it, and just going about my day. All right guys, so my skin is feeling like a skin. It's feeling good, it doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel oily, it feels very normal. I know I just said this, it's very repetitive, but I just wanna get my point across that I really think that this product is really awesome and it just normalizes your skin, which is what your skin needs. Uh, you don't wanna do too much. I'm going to bring the cloud moisturizer with me um, for a daily touch up throughout the day, just in case I need it, because at school sometimes I, wash my face again and I think I'm just going to keep those products with me um, so that I can keep it consistent with the Peter Thomas Roth products. But I'm on my way to school. Oh, last but not least, before I sign out, and thank you guys so much for watching this video, I wanted to let you know about one book that I suggest everybody read. It, um, well, this is a book by an author who wrote a book that I suggest everyone read. Um, the book is Who Moves My Cheese? Uh, that I've read and I love and adore, but this book is what I'm reading right now. Same author, same concept. He tells very short stories with life-changing morals in them, okay? So this one is about making good and bad times work for you at work and in life. It's titled Peaks and Valleys by Spencer Johnson. He, um, right down there, like it says, a gem, small and valuable. I love it so much. I do suggest you guys read it. I went to a used bookstore the other day and saw Who Moved My Cheese. And then I saw these other two books beside it. So I decided, let me get all three. I did. I'm so happy I did. And I will definitely be finishing this by today. Took me an hour to read the first book. It's literally less than 100 pages. And that font is that of a children's story. A large as hell. 
So I will definitely let you guys know in the next video how I liked this book. It's really great. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another one of my videos. And I will definitely be doing um, more beauty product reviews as I get them more daily vlogs because I'm sorry that I've been gone. And I'm done with Motivation Monday for a while, but I am trying to think of some new things to bring to YouTube to make it more um, interesting for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video video. I'm so excited that I'm back, you guys. So stay tuned for more stuff. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you. And I will be returning to my normal daily life. Goodbye.